This is Chris McDaniels. Like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris McDaniels, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. It'll all be down there in the description box, and I'm here to do my WWE Friday Night Smackdown, August 16th, 2024 reviews. So here we go, discussing about tonight's episode of Friday Night Smackdown. Now we kick off the show with uh, Miss Money in the Bank, Tiffany Stratton. She is in there with uh, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson. Pretty deadly. See, all three of them is in the ring because they are going to be celebrating Nia Jax's WWE Women's Championship victory from SummerSlam where she defeated Bayley. So yeah, that's what they're doing there. And they introduce the new WWE Women's Champion, Nia Jax. Nia Jax comes out there. Uh, she's getting carried down this throne and stuff. Head into the ring and all that stuff. She gets into the ring and then she starts talking about how she became WWE Women's Champion. And then all of a sudden, she pretty much says that, you know, that all the pink stuff and how it was looking out there. She says that she really appreciates uh, Tiffany Stratton for doing that for, for her. But she says that it's not her style because she loved destruction. So, yeah, that's what Nia Jax was saying to Tiffany Stratton. And then she says that she's going to get every woman to bow down in the locker room to her and all that. And she says the first one that she wants to bow, get bowed down to is Tiffany Stratton. So, yeah, Tiffany Stratton was like, what, you want me to bow down right now? And she goes like, yeah, I want you to bow down right now. And she says, well, how about can we get... Uh, pretty deadly to play their musical and then we can all bow down so yeah that's what she says there and then pretty deadly starts singing for Nia Jax and then all of a sudden we see Mia Yim coming up with a kendo stick hitting Tiffany Stratton and pretty deadly in the stomach and stuff with the kendo sticks Nia Jax quickly got out of the ring and then uh Mia Yim was just beating down pretty deadly with the kendo sticks laying them both out destroying the party so yeah that's what happened there it was a decent little segment, so yeah, I uh, like we're going to be seeing me um, getting a title match soon against Nia Jax, so that'd be pretty cool, but yeah, that's what happened there, and then after that, we see uh, Naomi and Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill talking backstage, talking about how they're going to beat down Alba Fire, Isla Dawn, and uh, Blair Davenport, and all that, and that 6 women's tag team match, and then all of a sudden, they was talking about how they're going to party after that, and then... Carmelo Hayes comes up and he was talking about how he's going to have an after party and they should come to his after party and all that after he defeats Andrade and then Jade says, ain't you like 0-2 uh, and two against Andrade like he lost two times? And he goes like, well, I'll still watch my match and they walked away. So yeah, that's what happened there. But next will be Andrade versus Carmelo Hayes 1-1. -on -one. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Till then. So the next thing to happen on Friday Night Smackdown, we get to the first match of the night. It was... Andrade versus Carmelo Hayes one on one. See if we get to this match. And this match, it was a really good match, just like their previous matches as well. Uh, and that was back and forth and everything. We see Andrade almost picking up the win a few times. Same for Carmelo Hayes. We see Andrade at one point hit a uh, Spanish, uh, a Spanish fly onto uh, Melo off the top turnbuckle and stuff. He pinned him one, two. Melo barely kicked out at two. Melo trying to do everything that he could do to try to pick up the win as well. But yeah, like I said, it was just going back and forth and everything between these two guys. And then Melo was trying to hit like that hurricane round of face plant onto uh, Andrade, but Andrade held him up. And then Andrade goes over him, trying to roll him up for a pin. But then Melo sits on him, pinning him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Carmelo Hayes defeated Andrade tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match. But then, after the match ended, we see uh, Melo gets his hand raised by the ref and all that because, you know, he finally picked up a victory over Andrade. And he starts gloating it a little bit too much. And he grabs Andrade when Andrade was trying to walk out of the ring. And Andrade starts fighting back, beating him down. And both of them starts brawling and all that stuff. And they had to get pulled apart. So, yeah, that's what happened there. And this feud is definitely not over with. But, you know what? I'm okay with it because... They've been throwing on some pretty good matches, and this one was pretty good as well. So, yeah, I'll give that three stars with everything that happened. But, yeah, pretty good stuff. But, yeah. And then after that, we see Solo Sokoa sitting down backstage. Tamatanga comes up, giving him the Ulafala. And uh, he was telling Solo that once he sees Roman Reigns in the ring tonight, he's going to get his hands on him and beat him down and all that. So, yeah, that's what Tamatanga was saying. And then Solo was like, look, I appreciate what you're doing and all that stuff. But I'll tell you this, if Roman gets his hands on the Ulafala, just know 
he's going to be the tribal chief then, and then you're going to have to acknowledge him. And then he says that he will have to acknowledge Roman Reigns as well. So, yeah, that's what Solo Sokoa said. Pretty interesting. But, yeah, I'll see you guys later into the next thing that happens on Friday Night Smackdown. See you guys later. Till then, up next, it'll be Naomi versus Blair David Porter 101. See you guys later. Till then. So the next thing that happened on Friday Night Smackdown, we get to the next match of the night where we see Naomi versus Blair Davenport 101. So yeah, we get to this match. And this match, it was a decent little match between these two women. Both of these women beating the hell out of each other. We see like uh, Naomi actually hitting the rear view at one point onto Blair. So I guess it ain't her finish move anymore. Uh, but yeah, she hit that at one point. She had a nice crossbody on a Blair getting a two count and all that stuff but she had Blair down because she done drop kicked her in the corner well then she was trying to hit that split like a moonsault onto Blair but Blair quickly got back up grabbing onto Naomi pretty much like uh having her upside down at the corner and then uh she jumps off the second rope Blair does and stomps onto Naomi's uh stomach right there knocking her off the turnbuckle and then she grabs both of Naomi's arms hitting that knee to the face onto Naomi, pinning her for the three count. So yeah, Blair Davenport defeated Naomi tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match. That's what happened. It was a pretty decent match. I'll give that match two stars. That's why I'll give it. But yeah, that's what happened there. And then after that match ended, we see a segment that happened backstage where we see Grayson Waller talking to Austin Theory backstage. Well, Waller's upset that Theory pretty much got him into a match against Kevin Owens tonight. And Theory was like, look, I'm not trying to throw you underneath the bus, but you got to think of it like this. If you defeat Kevin Owens, that means you could get a future title match because, you know, he's facing Cody Rhodes and stuff at Bash in Berlin. And uh, he started hyping up Grayson Waller. And he goes like, you know what? Yeah, that's, this is an easy win and all that. So, yeah, that's what Grayson Waller was saying up until Kevin Owens comes up. And he goes like, look, I, I like I said last week, I didn't deserve a title match or anything. He says that you says that this is going to be an easy win. How about let's go prove you right out there? So yeah, that's what Kevin Owens says. And then he says, let's go ahead and prove you right. And yeah, up next it'll be Kevin Owens versus Grace of Wall 101. But then after that, they showed a tribute video package to Alpha, C, uh, Alpha in Hawaii. So yeah, uh, Alpha died today. Um, now yesterday, he pa well yesterday, it was reported that he passed away, but that was like a false report. But now today, he has officially passed away, and I think he was 81 years old. Uh, and yeah, Sika died back in June, I think June 25th or something like that. And yeah, Alpha died like almost two months later. So yeah. Uh, crazy that both of the Wild Samoans have now passed away. Uh, but yeah, it was great, uh, tribute video package to Alpha in Hawaii. And yeah, it was just a good one, uh, show tribute to him. But yeah, uh, that's what happened there. But yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night Smackdown. See you guys later. Till then. So the next thing that happened on Friday Night SmackDown, we get to the next match of the night. It was Kevin Owens versus Grayson Waller with Austin Theory at ringside, A Town Down Under. So yeah, we get to this match. And this match, it was a good one. Uh, Waller was taking control of this match at one point with the help of Theory, but then uh, Owens came up and uh, beat down Grayson outside of the ring and starts beating down Theory as well, throwing him into the barricade and all that stuff. And then Grayson Waller starts taking control, running uh, Kevin Owens' face into the ring post, hitting the DDT outside on the floor, throwing him back into the ring, coming up with the near fall. Owens then starts coming back at one point. Owens hits the swanton bomb off the top. Turnbuckle onto Theory, onto Waller. He pins him. One, two, Waller barely kicked out at two. Grayson start, then starts fighting back and all that, but then he gets out of the ring, tries to hit that rolling stunner onto Kevin, but then Kevin kicks him in the stomach and hits the stunner onto Grayson, pinning him for the one, two, three. Actually, he hits a stunner and then picks him up, throwing him to the ropes, hitting the pop-up powerbomb, and then pinning him for the one, two, three. So yeah, that's why I pinned the pop-up powerbomb was the last move. But yeah, uh, Kevin Owens defeated Grayson Waller tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match. That's what happened there, but Owens is still pissed off, so he knocks Grace out of the ring, throwing him into the prime uh, station, pretty much. And then 
He was setting him up to try to hit a power bomb onto Grayson Waller on the ring apron, but then Theory come up saving Owens and they throw Owens back into the ring. They both grabbed two steel chairs. They was about to get into the ring to attack Owens, but then the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Cody Rhodes comes running down, and then him and Kevin Owens start going at it with Theory and uh, Waller knocking them into the ring. They both grab those steel chairs, start beating them in the back with it, knocking them out of the ring. So yeah, that's what happened there, and they was both standing tall. Uh, Kevin's behind Cody. He drops his steel chair. Cody does as well. Uh, Cody turns around to go grab the title, and when he was about to pick it up, Owens then picks up the title instead. He looks at it, and then he passes it over to Cody. So yeah, that's what happened there. Uh, but yeah, for that match and what happened after the match and all that stuff, I'll give it all three stars as well. Give it, it was good stuff. But yeah, that's what happened there. But then, after all that, we see Solo Sokoa backstage, and then Tomatonga comes up, giving him the Ulafala, and then he says to Solo that he loves him, and Solo tells him that he loves him too. And then Solo says that they got to deal with Roman Reigns tonight and make him acknowledge him. So yeah, that's what uh, Solo Sokoa said there. Pretty good stuff. But yeah, Roman Reigns will be on SmackDown tonight. And then after that, they showed like the vignette of uh, Giovanna Vinci uh, going back to that character in uh, NXT 2.0. But it was a pretty good character. I liked it. But yeah, uh, that's what it looks like there at least. But yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on SmackDown. See you guys later. Till then. So the next thing that happened on. Friday Night Smackdown, we get to the next segment of the night, but before we talk about the LA Night segment, we gotta talk about Santos Escobar. So yeah, we see Santos Escobar with Humberto and Angel and Electra Lopez, Legata Del Fantasma, having dinner, and then Santos was talking about how he got us that match against LA Knight for the United States Championship next week on SmackDown, how he'll bring that United States Championship to the family and all that, and they gotta talk about how we're going to get people not to disrespect them and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's what he was talking about there. But then after that, we see uh, the United States champion, uh, L.A. Knight, come out there. L.A. Knight comes out there, and he says that he'll be defending his title next week on SmackDown. And he says that uh, Santos is going to lose to him and all that stuff. And then he says that that dinner right there was boring as hell. And he says that next week he's going to lay Santos out and then... Uh, pretty much just retain his title and everybody's going to know the name of LA Knight. So yeah, that's what he was saying there. Uh, just the stuff right there. So yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty decent segment right there. But then after that, we see uh, Mia Yim walking out of Nick Aldis's office and then uh, Chelsea Green Piper never comes up to uh, Mia Yim saying, uh, look, we was going to go out there and fight Nia and them, but then we seen you go, go out there and we found it entertaining. And then Mia Yim was like, well, since I've done that, I got a women's championship match against Nia, and then Chelsea Green Piper never was not happy about that, so they walk into Nick Aldis's office. Well, while they're in there, and me and was just looking, uh, all of a sudden, Nia Jax comes up from behind, attacking me and pushing her into the door, laying her out, and then Nick Aldis comes out, and he tells Nia to go into his office now. So yeah, that's what happened there, and Nia had to go into the office. But yeah, up next it'll be the Street Profits versus DIY in a number one contenders match up next on SmackDown. So yeah, that match is up next. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Till then. So the next thing that happened on Friday night SmackDown, we get to the next match of the night. It was pretty much the main event. It was uh Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano DIY versus Angelo Dog is in Montez Ford, the Street Profits would be Fab at ringside in a No More Contenders tag team match. So yeah, winner of this match would be facing the WWE Tag Team Champions, Tama Tonga and Jacob Fatu next week on SmackDown. So yeah, they'd be facing against the Bloodline. But yeah, uh, we get to this match. In this match, it was a good one. Both of these teams were beating the hell out of each other. At one point, it like DIY was going to win this, where we see Champa lift up uh, Angelo Dawkins upside down. Uh, and then Gargano hits him with a super kick into the fairy tale ending from Champa. Champa pins him. One, two, four breaks at the pin at the count of two. And then four got knocked out of the ring. And then uh, four gets hit with a suicide dive by Johnny Gargano. 
and Tommaso Ciampa got knocked down as well and all that stuff from in that. And then Gargano gets on the ring apron because Dawkins is still inside the ring. He tries to hit that slingshot spear onto Dawkins, but Dawkins reversed it into a swinging neckbreaker onto Gargano. He tags in Ford. Uh, Ford climbs up the top turnbuckle. Dawkins lifts up Gargano up on his shoulders with the electric chair, and then they hit that super block buster onto Gargano. Ford pins him for the one, two, three. So yeah, the Street Profits defeated DIY tonight in a number one contenders tag team match. So next week on SmackDown, it will be Tomatanga and Jacob Fatu, the Bloodline versus. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits, in a tag team match for the WWE Tag Team Championship. So, yeah, next week's SmackDown is pretty packed. They got the United States Championship on the line next week with LA Knight and Santos Escobar. The tag team title match next week with the Profits and the Bloodline. And then they got the six women's tag team match with Bianca Belair, Jay Cargill, and Naomi versus Isla Dawn and Elba Fire and Blair Davenport in a six women's tag team match. So, yeah, next week's SmackDown was pretty packed. But, yeah, for that tag team match and all that, I'll give it three and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a pretty good match. But, yeah, next we're going to be seeing Solo Sokoa and Tomatonga, the bloodline up next on SmackDown, and Roman Reigns as well. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Till then. So, the next thing that happened on Friday Night SmackDown, we get to the next segment of the night. It was the last segment of the night. So, we see Solo Sokoa with one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Tamatanga, the bloodline come down. And yeah, Solo Sokoa comes down and he tells everybody to acknowledge him. Well, everybody would not acknowledge him. So he says, I already understand, y'all don't acknowledge me. But there's going to be one person that's going to acknowledge me. And that's Roman Reigns and he calls Roman Reigns out. So yeah, uh, he called Roman Reigns out and Roman comes out there. Loud pop for him. And then Roman gets into the ring and then Solo looks at Tomatonga. He takes off the Ulafala, passes it over to him. He tells Tomatonga to go to the corner. Well, Tomatonga goes to the corner. And then Solo and Roman starts brawling. Both of them going back and forth and everything. Roman gets the upper hand, knocking Solo out of the ring. When then Tomatonga comes up going at it with Roman, Roman starts beating him down, hitting uh, a, uh, you know, laying him out and all that stuff. Throws him outside of the ring, starts tearing apart the announce table. It looked like uh, Roman was about to put so, uh, Tomatonga through the announce table. Well, then Solo saves Tomatonga, beating down Roman, throws him back into the ring. He picks up Roman, tries to hit the Samoan spike onto Roman. Roman ducks it. Roman hits the ropes, comes back with the Superman punch onto Solo. And then he waited for Solo to get back up, and then he hits a spear onto him as well, laying Solo out. And then Roman looks down, Ulafala is right there on the mat, and then he picks up the Ulafala and he puts it around his neck. And then all of a sudden, he gets hit with a super kick by Jacob Fatu. Yeah, Jacob Fatu returns tonight, hitting a super kick on the Roman, beating him down in the corner, running him shoulder first into the ring post, hitting the hip attack onto him as well in the corner, laying him out. They toss Roman out of the ring, and then Solo, Tamatanga, and Jacob Fatu hit the triple power bomb onto Roman Reigns through the announce table, laying him out, and then they toss Roman back into the ring. Solo standing tall. Jacob Fatu drags Roman's body into the middle of the ring while he's laid out, and then Solo puts the Ulafala back on, and yeah, just standing tall over Roman. So yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good segment. Uh, but yeah, for tonight's episode of Friday Night Smackdown, I'll give it Eh, I'll give it nine stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a pretty good episode for match of the night. I gotta say it was DIY and uh, Street Profits. That match was a good match. Um, Andrade and Carmelo Hayes was a good match. And this segment right here was a pretty good segment as well. The last segment of the night. But yeah, that's been my Friday Night Smackdown reviews. Like, subscribe. Subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris McDaniels. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. And I'll be down there in the description box. And I'll see you guys later for this Monday's Monday Night Raw reviews. See you guys later. Till then.